Roses are red, lightsabers are blue. Why does everybody want to go back to Jakku? It's so damn hot over there. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Star Wars The Force Awakens Hot Toys Finn and First Order Ride Control Stormtrooper Movie Masterpiece 1 6 scale collectible figure set. Here we got the packaging. This is the two pack. You can get the Finn separately, but if you want the Ride Control Stormtrooper, you have to get this two pack. You have a nice picture of both the figures on the front right there. It says the Star Wars logo, it has their names, Hot Toys, Movie Masterpiece. Back here says Finn and First Order Ride Control Stormtrooper. It has a big old warning label. Warning you on choking your Finn or Ride Control Stormtrooper, otherwise you're a traitor. When you open up the box, you get a Awesome picture of Finn against TR-8R. Out of the packaging, this is everything you get with the two pack. Let's start with the First Order Ride Control Stormtrooper. If you have any of the previous First Order Stormtroopers, like the regular one or Squad Leader, you know what to expect. It's pretty much identical, but I love the design, like the silver in his helmet. The helmet's still one of my favorite designs. Underlying suit has that apple thing going on, which I love, you know. Very rubber underlining body. You know, like how the white fingers on the thumb and index finger and the little pouches on the bag right here. I've showed this guy in detail in my squad leader review. Part is a magnet for the holster, which I'll show here. And I really love the boots. The right control stormtrooper stands a little above 12 inches tall, while Finn is a little bit taller at 12 and a quarter inches tall. You can see how tall they are to other Star Wars uh, Hot Toys figures like Han Solo, and they're much bigger than the Black Series Finn. For articulation TR-8R, the head can fully rotate. It can look up pretty good. It can look down pretty good and it has a nice head pivot side to side. The arms uh, can go up about that high. You can bend the elbow about that much, but if you bend any more, the hand will just pop off, so be careful of that. The uh, wrist can fully rotate, go in and out. Now the uh, chest can go forward and back just a little bit. Kind of has a little side pivot and can move left and right just a little bit. The waist can move just a little bit left and right. Legs can only go forward that much, can only even back that much, can go in and out that much. Uh, rotate the part of the leg, bend at a little bit, uh, two points at the knee, but it's really only in like 90 degrees. And his ankles can pivot forward and back. You can't fully rotate it, and it does have an ankle pivot side to side. Now, if you didn't know, the ride control stormtrooper was called TR8R to the internet, but he's actually called FN2199, aka Nines. I'm gonna call him Nines or TR8R, but let's see all the accessories. So you get this detailed instruction manual, how to do all his weapons, oh he also has toe articulation, how to do his shield, how to do his baton, which is actually really awesome, and all the electric effect. Now Nines comes with nine hands, he comes with a pair of fists, he comes with a pair of blaster firing hands, a pair of gripping hands, a pair of hands to like hold his baton, and one left uh, open palm hand. He also comes with a pair of wrist pegs in case you break them. He comes with a first order Stormtrooper blaster rifle. This thing is so beautiful. I love all the silver and the black and little bits of red right here. Just amazing detail all around. It also has moving parts right here, which I really like. Plus, it's magnetic, so you can actually place it on the holster right here if you so choose to. You also get the ride control Stormtrooper shield. We saw this in the movie for a little bit. One thing I like, it has this little clear plastic thing you can see through. Really love these little bits on the front right here. It has this foam piece so when you attach it, it won't uh, scuff off the paint. It also comes with velcro straps which I really like. So you can place it on him really nicely and have a nice tight fit. You also get the baton for the ride control stormtrooper. I really love it. Love the silver paint right here. Love these little red dots along lines. This thing is so cool. Before I show you how this works, I want to mention you can also put it on the holster right here. You can just leave it on. It has a magnet so that way you can keep it on just like he got it from the movie. Now this is the closed mode of the baton, but you can actually put it into open mode. So what you have to do is remove these little bits and you can see this uh, silver pin right here, which I'll get to in a second, but remove both of these. And this is the shorter one. You actually get a longer one for the open mode. So, so take this out and then you want to insert the longer one, the Sean longer one <laughs> for the ladies. Then what you do, you see the little hole right here. You just place it opposite side. So that way it gives it a more open space in between this little part. So now we got the battle mode of the baton. But one thing that you also get is these little electric effects to simulate the electricity that comes out of the baton. Now the way this works, it's a little tricky, but you can just slide it in between here. That way it gives it a really cool look. So you just kind of have to work with it and kind of these little 
uh, bits right here you just slide it through and you kind of know how it works you just trying to do it the best you can so once you get it on here this is what you get it looks freaking cool electric shocking I love it so yeah he's ready to take on any traders you got nines with his baton looking very electric of course nine gets the standard hot toy stance his Star Wars first order stormtrooper with the first order logo and the adjustable cradle I really love the head sculpt on the Finn figure now the likeness to John Boyega is amazing it it's near spot on. I know it could be slightly off, but definitely from uh, certain angles, it definitely looks like him more than other angles. But yeah, I really love his eyes, the eyebrows, the way they did his nose and lips. Looks just like the actor, and I really love the hair. Definitely the texturing on the hair looks absolutely amazing. I'm just loving it. And I love this jacket. This used to be Poe Dameron's jacket which is really cool. I love the stitching and tailoring on there. Just like the different colors and yeah, it just looks cool. It looks very battle worn, which I really love. It looks so freaking cool. I love these little bits here. And this is like kind of like the underlining suit for the First Order Stormtrooper outfit that Finn would be wearing. The detail on his hands. The pants are just these basic black cargo pants. They're really cool. Yeah, it's a pretty basic outfit, but really nice, and he has these brown shoes, which look awesome. You have the nice, uh, really nice uh, texturing on the bottom right here at Lucasfilm uh, Hot Toys on the bottom. For articulation, Finn's head can fully rotate. It can look up uh, that much. It can look down that much. And he little, has a little bit of head pivot side to side. His arms can fully rotate. You just have to work with the jacket. And it does have a little armpit joint in and out. It also goes in and out that way. Rotate the bicep and the two points at the elbow. Rotate the wrist as well as going out. He does have an upper ab crunch forward and back. and. Can rotate side to side and pivot side to side. Also has a waist joint to fully rotate and pivot side to side a bit. Legs can go forward that much. It can go back. You can almost do the splits. Rotate the upper part of the leg, bend at two points at the knee, and his ankles can fully rotate, pivot forward back, and he has an ankle pivot side to side. Then comes with tons of accessories, including detailed instruction manual, how to do his lightsaber, and how to do his bag with all the little goodies inside of it. Now Finn comes with four pairs of hands. He comes with a a pair of fists, comes with a pair of blaster holding hands, a pair of relaxed hands, and a pair of lightsaber holding hands. And a pair of wrist picks in case you break them. Finn comes with his blaster rifle that was given to him by Han Solo. This thing is freaking awesome. I love the paint detail on here. I love this little skull card. It's just so freaking cool. I just love it. It has this strap that's adjustable. Definitely do some cool blaster holding poses. Finn also comes with this really nice duffel bag. It has like this little see-through netting right here. It has an adjustable strap which I really like and it has this latch and you can actually open up and there's actually something in here which is really cool. You actually get eight of these little mini bombs which have some really nice detail on there. One of them actually has an activated mode. So this is the regular mode and then this is the activated mode which is really cool. So just a little minor difference. You get the lightsaber that once was held for with Anakin Skywalker, then Luke Skywalker, and then to Finn, and I guess the Rey. But yeah, this lightsaber is awesome. I love the detail on here. Really nice hold. It has a little thing right here which you can hang it on the belt if you so choose to. You also get this clear blue lightsaber beam which looks really awesome. This is the version that is not light up, so if you want to just pose it without worrying about using the light up hand. But it's like the other Hot Toy Star Wars fitters, you get an interchangeable arm that comes with three watch batteries you put in here and it has it's attached to the lightsaber that lights up so you can actually switch it on it has this nice blue light on here so you would take off this little beam right here so put it on so that way it makes the lightsaber light up. What you want to do is remove uh, Finn's arm so you would just actually have to open up the jacket right here then you kind of have to pull it out at the bicep but once you pull this one out. You just have to simply insert this one in. It's a little tricky, but once it's in there, it stays really good. And here we got Finn holding the lightsaber looking pretty badass. And here you can see in low light settings how bright the lightsaber is. It looks really cool. Of course, Finn comes with the Star Wars Force Awakens Hot Toy Stand. So Star Wars Finn has the Rebel Alliance or uh, Resistance logo with adjustable cradle. There you can recreate the famous battle from the Force Awakens. Overall, I'm loving what Hot Toys is doing with their Force Awakens figures. And this set is one of the best sets 
to come out of it so far. I really love the fin figure. The lightness is amazing and I love the light of lightsaber. You got all the great accessories including his blaster, the duffel bag with all the bombs. You can get the fin by himself for uh, Sideshow Collectibles for $205 but if you want the set you can get it for $360 meaning that the first order ride control stormtrooper is only $155 more which is amazing. He is exclusive to this set but if you want to recreate one of the most badass fights in The Force Awakens you definitely want to get this set and I love that he comes with that really awesome baton that comes with the cool electric effects even though he pretty much is the same as the regular first order stormtrooper the baton is really awesome and the ride shield is really cool too so you're really getting some exclusive accessories too. Whether you get the fin by himself or this set you get some amazing figures and I highly recommend both. For more check out my website seanlingslong.com like me on Facebook follow me on Twitter Instagram links in the description. I'm Sean Long Mayor live long and love life. Fighter. Uh, uh, wait a second. Ah! I knew I should have shot first. Hey, big deal. I always shoot first. I'm here to kick ass and eat tacos. And I'm all out of tacos.